who are you? Let's not get sidetracked. Let's, let's triangulate. I hate to make comparisons like that because I love Starfield. I am not a, I am not one of those people who hated Starfield. I've done two full playthroughs. I'm going to play the shit out of the Shattered Space DLC when it comes. I think it's a great game. Had flaws, but it was still fun. Um, Daniel says it would be nice when you get the refined module for your backpack. Cyberthorn says when landing, if it's around, you want to land in the green circle. A heat landing pad takeoff is free from them? Oh! There was totally a green circle here a minute ago. Good to know. Yeah, there was totally a green circle, like, uh... I totally saw it flying in, and I don't remember where it's at now. But there was a green circle over here somewhere. Facium? Never heard of that one. They turn green. Okay. They are red if you're further out. They turn green when you land to catch you. Yeah, it was by that pillar. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I don't see it right now. Um, that's what I was checking. <laughs> I was like running around going, "Where's it at? I know I saw it." So, not enough fuel for the launcher thrusters, so I need to fuel up first. And I need Starship launch fuel. Can I make that directly from here? By the way, I turned that up too high. Um, we're going we're gonna to change one thing here. Their cursor sensitivity is too high. Try 20%. That's better. Okay. Can I do... I need dehydrogen. God, this is all back on my main my main base. I can make a metal plating, but I need dehydrogen, which I'm going to have to harvest because I don't... Thankfully, I think there's some right here, probably. Yeah, there's some right up here in the hills. Ah! Something was attacking me. Hang on, is that some sort of a creepy spider creature coming at me? Who the fuck are you? Go away. Did that thing just regrow? Go away, creepy creatures. Do I have enough? Uh, I need a few more. Hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Ship. Oops. I still gotta get used to my muscle memory is still not that great with certain aspects. What else needed to charge on my ship? Ooh, I'm down to 16% on the pulse engine. Do I have any? I do. Nice. Need to find another asteroid field, though. Oh, hang on. Green. Green circle. That right there is what you were talking about. So does it auto land when you get close to it? It was blue, now it went green. All right, it didn't pull me in automatically though. So how do you how do you actually get it to land in that? Out of sheer curiosity. I don't want to crash land here. All right. Whatever. Figure it out another time. Oh, you hit your land button when it's green and it'll automatically put you in? Okay. Answer the communication. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the danger, and here we are, are we? By the way, can I construct a landing pad for my home base? I'm assuming you can. Here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. Nice, okay, perfect. I can't wait to build one. Time flies when you're having fun, though, right? Uh, that's, that's the way it works for a puffle. By the way, everybody watching for the first time today, don't forget we are multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so you get to choose where you want. Daily streams happen between here and Twitch over at 11 a.m. Central Time, usually is when I start. Subspace scan in progress. Hostile subspace Hostile scan found bog and valuable cargo. Hang on. Don't let, don't let me get sidetracked. Can I, can I hold LT? I'm getting attacked. I gotta figure out how to deal with this. Hang on, guys. Cycle target. Hold LT to lock on. Oh, well, this makes combat amazing. You just hold LT to log on? How about fuck you, pirate? Did I automatically loot whatever that was? 
Anyway, guys, normally streams happen at 11 a.m. Central Time, YouTube and Twitch. I sometimes stream in the afternoon. I will be streaming this afternoon, assuming World of Warcraft is up, because the pre-patch went live for The War Within. I'm also doing a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. It's my third playthrough. I just, I'm having fun. Sometimes I'll stream early morning, but all the game guides and everything else, the reactions, reviews, and everything else happen over on YouTube. So if you're watching on Twitch today, don't forget to check out the YouTube channel as well. So you're saying, hold the green button when it, hold the landing button when it goes green. Oh, that's beautiful. So I have a landing pad. By the way, guys, uh, my fear of the combat in this game was just allayed given the fact that you can hold down the left trigger and it auto tracks your target. I no longer need to worry about space controls like that. That alone says, OK, just hold down the L button and you're good. We're good. We'll figure it out later. Dana says I've been watching you for you years on YouTube. Glad you're trying No Man's Sky again. Yeah, I think it was three years ago when I first like jumped in and killed my ship and said fuck this game <laughs> so um it was it's been very interesting to come back and actually try it you know actually give it a shot Another question, do the planets have different types of gravity like in Starfield? Because that's one thing I do like about Starfield is the different planets have different, um, so, so you know, your jetpack, because every planet I've been to so far here, I fall like a rock. Like if I use my jetpack, I plummet to the surface immediately. So I'm wondering if they have different, is it all the same gravity here on all the different planets? Hollow Terminus activated multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. They do? Okay, so there is different gravity on certain planets. Okay, perfect. I have tried to get my position. Go ahead and send me the data. Artemis transmits data of their own a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here, so I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck. All right, I have an automatic language parser. I need 100 copper, which I have none of. I need to go harvest more. All right. Copper. Five hundred. Nine hundred, a thousand. That's going to be the close one right here. All right, we're going to risk it. I still crunched myself. <laughs> Hang on, did I not track that copper? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. No. I thought I tracked it. Now I'm tracking it.
It's one of those sentinels. I need to hurry because this planet's freezing cold. What is that glowing egg thing? Frozen tubers. I did, I've tried, uh, I actually own Elite Dangerous on the PS4, um, tried it years ago, um, did not like it because there was no, like, quests, um, you know, I need story, I need quests, when I tried it, it was very much just go explore space or be a space trucker, um, and there was no quest lines, and if there's not quest lines, I get bored very quickly, I need there to be dialogue and missions and that's just who I am as a player I need story so yeah I, I did not enjoy um, you know there were aspects of it that I enjoyed but um, overall no didn't stick with it It's a pretty good sized chunk of deposit, man. Might as well grab the whole thing while we're here. Considering I burned up all the other copper I had previously on the, um, the chromium or whatever it's called, I had to make a whole bunch of metal the other day. I'm not going to go out of my way to buy a VR headset, so the answer to that would be no. I don't, I don't, there's just not enough VR out there for me to justify spending the money on VR rigs. The only game I've ever been interested in playing through VR was like uh, Star Wars Squadrons. I would have loved to have, you know, a full HOTUS set up and VR and everything else. And I would imagine that whatever, whenever Star Citizen slash Squadron 42 actually ever releases, that's that's a game where I would want to get a full HOTUS set up and VR headset and everything else. But apart from that, there's not enough out there to ju for me personally. Um, I've not felt the need to go out and buy 
VR hardware. So to answer your question, would I ever check out No Man's Sky in VR? Sure, if someone wants to buy me VR technology and send it my way, I'd be happy to try it out. <laughs> but I'm not going to spend my own money on it. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Any sponsors listening? If you're looking for some hardware to be tested, you know where you can send it. getting there. We're almost done with this node. Did I run out of power again? Speaking of which, I need to go log back into the... I have not logged into the Star Citizen Alpha in a long... Like, two years, maybe? Three years? And I just got a new rig with a 4080 in it, so it might be time to go check it out and see what it feels like on the new, on the new hardware. I think we've located all of the... Tiny little node right over there. I don't think there's any more in here. All right, let's make our way back to the ship. Oh, I guess we can do it right from here. Open inventory, go to the ship section, copper. Translator installed. Alien life forms speak a variety of languages, none of which are initially understandable. Learn the languages in order to communicate. Words can be deciphered through variety of means. Automatic translation devices allow the real-time translation of a limited number of words. The plans to create translation devices can be learned from execute missions for specialists. Words can also be learned via encounters with alien life forms, making friendly requests. At the space station, require uh, results in learning new words permanently. You can also learn words from relics, such as plaque ruins and knowledge stones, which I've come across plenty of knowledge stones um, uh, in the past. I am the No says you have a PC with a 4080 now. It's awesome. Desktop or laptop? Laptop. I have been laptop only since 2008. I have not felt the need to buy desktop for a very long time. I... It's, in the beginning, it was because I did, so, I, I was a digital nomad for, like, a decade, um, and so my job was on the go, so I always just needed something I could throw in my bag, get on a plane, get to the next destination, be good to go, and so the laptop for me, just, it was always a great solution for mobility, and I just never went back. Yes, laptop GPUs are less powerful than their desktop counterparts but I don't play high-end video games and when I do I have a PS5 and an Xbox Series X I don't feel that like I'm not a PC master PC master race bullshit fuck you blah 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 screw the PlayStation screw the Xbox uh uh I play I have all of them I have all the platforms so that I can play you know this is my job so I go where the games are these days um, so it, it is good. I, I, my, the one that's my steam box, my stream box that I'm running right now, my stream box is a 1080. This is a seven year old laptop on this desk. That's running my stream right now with my capture card and everything. Um, and I've got, it still runs great. It's, I still do all of my video production day to day, the day to day stuff that I do. It's all done on my old laptop with a 1080 in it. 
32 gigs of RAM. It's an old Asus Rogue Strix that I got like six, seven years ago. Works great. But I did get the upgrade when I was up traveling north in June because I was finally starting to get some of these early access titles. Holy shit, I wasn't paying attention and I just fell into the fell into a pit. Um, there was a lot of early access titles like in Shrouded and um, some other stuff that came out this year and late last year that I finally started to feel the the age on and it was like oh my la my laptop started to feel a little bit old so I wanted to update it when I was up up and about where did my ship go because I just fell there it is um I could have gone for the 4090, but it was like another $800. So it was like, I'm not spending another $800 for a 4090 because I don't play. Like I said, I'm not Master PC Race. So the only people who need a 4090 are like the Master PC Race people who are like, oh my god, you have to have the best graphic ray tracing, blah, 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 blah. Eh, whatever. Alright, what's the next? Calibrate the translator above space stations or in various buildings. Can I just go back to the anomaly to get the update for this? Farfall says the last Star Citizen update blew up my graphics card. Hey man, it's it's beefy. You're in the market for a 4080 um, laptop. I got um, I got a Rogue Strix Zephyr 2024 model. Um, it was not cheap, um, but I've been saving up for a couple of years and I had a nice tax rebate, so um, about three. Let's just say it was three thousand, a little north of three thousand, with all the um, like warranty, extra warranty stuff and everything. Let's see, you know, I am conservatively easy. The only thing I play on it right now is uh, I, I do play World of Warcraft on the new rig and um, I have EverQuest. It's like old games. I have old games installed on it. I have EverQuest 2 installed on it and, and, um, and I was playing No Man's Sky on it until today. Uh, but I have EverQuest 2 and World of Warcraft on the old laptop. And then, um, mostly, I do want to check out the, um, I want to check out Enshrouded. Because the, I was playing Enshrouded on the 1080 rig. And it looked great, but it was like, you know, I really do want to check out Enshrouded with, the, with that. But, um, I think the only thing I've, I don't think there's anything I've needed to play. Because usually what I do is, if a game is available on the Series X or the PS5, I will automatically buy it for that platform first, wherever is cheaper. If I get two options, it's like, because I have a PS Plus subscription and a Game Pass subscription, so whoever gives me the cheapest deal is where I end up buying the console games that I play. The only time I play something on PC is if it's PC only, like World of Warcraft. I can only play that on the PC. Um, I would also be interested to go check out Star Wars Yoda Public these days, now that I have a better rig, because they've done a, a bunch of new graphics overhauls to uh, Star Wars Yoda Public since they moved over to Broadsword. Um, yeah. What time is it, guys? I need to pay attention because I smell food, which I mean lunch is probably ready. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, everybody. Um, it's 1. I need lunch. I'm going to go get some grub in me. Chris is outside cooking chicken and veggies and um, get some food. I will be back again tomorrow with more No Man's Sky around the same time, 11 a.m. Central, but I will also be streaming tonight. The plan is anyway, as long as the update went live and everything else and the servers are up, I'm going to stream World of Warcraft tonight for a couple of hours from 6 p.m. Central to 8 p.m. Central because no man's, uh, no man's, I'm getting sidetracked while I'm doing it. Um, the War Within pre-patch went live last night slash this morning, so I want to get in and check it out, set up my war bands, doing the new quests, 
reset all my hot bars, all the things I need to do. So um, if that happens, I'll be live tonight, multi-streaming again. But otherwise, if you want the No Man's Sky coverage, it'll be tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time, as always, on YouTube and Twitch. If you watched on Twitch today, don't forget the videos, all the updates, guides, everything else I do happen over on YouTube. I do several per day. I do a lot of stuff on YouTube because that's my main income source. If you want to support, keeps me on the air full time. Bits, cheers, subscriptions on Twitch, super chats, and memberships on YouTube. You could also hit the Patreon if you want to get access to all the stuff I do as a sci fi and fantasy author. Get a copy of my latest fantasy novel. Links are down below. See you all next time. Have fun.